ancient and complex behavioral code which has endured the spread of Christianity and Islam. Their tradition is crucial to them. It's their identity. It means freedom and security. Part of this is pulaku. It is similar in meaning to our word chivalry. The Wadabi must demonstrate patience, self-control, mental discipline, prudence, modesty and respect for others. They must also show semtende. There are many taboos in Wadabi culture, but perhaps the strangest of them all is the one which forbids parents from ever speaking to their firstborn child. Quinch's aunt, Zenabu, never spoke to her son until he was an adult. One of the effects of this custom is that children are integrated very quickly into the wider family and lavished with affection. Today, Janari will oversee an important family event. His nephew, Gorsi, is 15 years old. He's about to become a panyo, a young man. His father has given him his first cow, and tonight the group will celebrate. <laughs> Gorse's relations from neighboring camps have made the long journey to the party. <laughs> One of the visitors is Gorse's father. <laughs> to celebrate Gorse's coming of age, Quincy has arranged for the men to perform a dance. But first, they'll let him in on some beauty secrets. <laughs> As Gorsi enters manhood, he's learning how to transform himself for future beauty contests. Thank you. 
Although physical beauty is very important to the Wadabi, they also value inner beauty or togu. Quincy takes Gorsi through his paces in the Yashi, a dance intended to seduce women. The men are very relaxed saving their energies for the Garawal festival where they will attempt to dance for up to seven days and where women will choose the best performers, taking them into the bush for a night of romance. Gorsi watches the dancers and joins in with the hypnotic swaying. Tired after his dancing lesson, Gorsi returns to the camp and is excused the evening's herding duties. Staring into his compact mirror, he's clearly happy with his new reflection and delays removing his makeup for as long as possible. That evening, the women get together to celebrate Gorsi's coming of age. <laughs> Meanwhile, around the men's campfire, Janari gives Gorsi some advice. <laughs> Now a man, Gorsi reflects on a busy day and looks forward to the time when he can dance for the girls at the Garawal. on the move again. Quincy and his friend Mina are eager to get going as the Garawal starts in two days' time. But unfortunately, they've had a setback. Mina's wife, Mariama, has fallen ill. Mm. <laughs> Although Mariama isn't well, the group must move today. The Wadabi never let their cattle overgraze pasture land and have taboos about the days on which they can travel. The 
group would rather camp on sand than grass, as it offers greater protection against scorpions and snakes. While the beds are being set up, people rally round to help Mariama. Mina is an expert on herbal remedies. They also use herbal treatments for their cattle and burn special markings over affected areas. They believe in supernatural forces such as genies, shape-shifting spirits that take the form of humans or animals.